فجرية and her relatives can't hide their joy. They will finally return to their hometown of Tawurga after being away for six years. Some of these children were born here in this camp in Tripoli. Yet they are holding on to their parents' dream. We are so happy that we will finally go home. We just need to settle down and live in peace now. We've had enough troubles. We're sick and tired of the interrogation. Banubia says she has had a terrible experience. Her son was accused of fighting for former leader Muammar Gaddafi in 2011 and was later arrested by rebels from the city of Misrata. We just need our safety to be guaranteed. We need a neutral official brigade to secure our hometown, Tawarga. We don't want Misrata to police Tawarga because it used to be our adversary. Around 450 families live in this camp. They don't have proper health care or sanitation, so life here is tough. It is even tougher for disabled people like Omar Mubarak. He remembers how spacious and comfortable his old house back home was. It has been so difficult for us living here on all levels. The place we live in, hygiene, education and security. On many occasions, gangs and armed men attacked us and stole our belongings. Around 4,000 Taurga families have been scattered in camps all over Libya since September 2011. Most of them are in Benghazi and the capital Tripoli. For the past six years, several attempts have failed to bring the people of Tawurga back to their hometown. That's largely because those in Misrata have accused them of killing people who supported the uprising against Muammar Gaddafi. And they have demanded that in order for them to return, the government must compensate the families of the victims. During the fall of Gaddafi's regime, hundreds of Tawurga men were captured while fighting against the rebels. As a major supporter of Gaddafi, Tawurga was used as a military base for his forces to attack Misrata. Later, around 40,000 people were forced out of Tawurga as collective punishment. Since then, Tawurga has become a ghost town. The Tripoli-based government of National Accord has agreed to provide compensation to victims on both sides. For Fajriya and Banubia, they say it feels like they will be set free after six years of imprisonment. They can't wait to go back home in February. Until then, they are counting down days. Mahmoud Abdelwahid, Al Jazeera, Tripoli.